In this little video, I will show you how to add an event to uh, some items or some stuff controls on uh, Universal Windows application or WPF application is the same in this case. <coughs> what we have here is <coughs> this special example. We have a list and this list has always uh, some sub items. And these sub-items, sub when I push the right mouse button, uh, in this case it's called tapped event, then nothing happens and I want to add an event when the element itself is uh, created at runtime. Run so what, we have to, what have we to do in this case? <coughs> First we go we don't need them in him anymore. First, we go to the uh, position where the uh, the element is created. So this is this one. It's called. Uh, I create here an element which is called a subfolder of, uh, of a, it's a user control. It's this user control on the left side. And I already prepared uh, the same stuff for demonstration, but <coughs> we will do it and and you will see on Visual Studio how it works there. <coughs> so when when I have this uh, this variable, it's a it's it's called user folder. It's a, it's a user control by its name with a small letter user uh, uc user control subfolder and i want to add the event then i say okay <coughs> uh, my dear subfolder uh, element when i push the uh, when i click on the point there then comes a list which gives me all events which are available for this control if you have a button you have a click uh, event if you have a text box, your text changed event, for example, and all that stuff, and you see it by this uh, yellow uh, uh, arrow, <coughs> this uh, flash symbol. And what I want to do now is, I want to say if something is tapped, now we see uh, tapped uh, on Universal uh, on a Windows uh, app. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, on <coughs> Windows applications, for the future we have the tapped element uh, event. It's not the same like mouse. It's sim. It is similar to the mouse event, mouse click event, but there's no mouse click event even anymore here. So we have here now the tapped element. Uh, tap is the left mouse button and uh, right tap is the right one. So when I click on the right mouse button and I say, okay, give me the event, something of this uh, event should happen <coughs> when I click on there, and, but I have no event there. It's not defined. Then I say plus equals. So I say, okay, give me the, the uh, this is the event plus equals means create an event when it's created. Uh, when you when you see here, I create the, event, uh, the control and add to the control an event handler. <coughs> so I say here, right tapped. So I said, okay, <coughs> add me a tapped event. When I type it in, you will see. You see, here's the right tapped event handler. That's what we need. This uh, little uh, what is it? Um, uh, a box or something like this. A handler. It's a handler. Okay. Now with the uh, space key, uh, the the text is um, inserted. And now when I am there and I open my uh, uh, bracket. <clears throat> then it says, okay, um, some stuff in here, object sender, blah, 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 something like this. And all what you have to do there is you have to say, give me a new name. Am I right or not? 
Ah, excuse me. Something is missing. E equals. So that's the show e effect, but that's also the same. What uh, what happens to you? You need to give me attach a new element, attach a new attach an event on there, and at runtime it's not defined at, at the moment. Create a new tapped ev <coughs> tapped event handler. <coughs> now we have the right uh, tapped here it's called right tap so we select a right tapped event handler and when we open the bracket now now we see void object something in there just say my new my new event for example right tapped and now uh, what's going on else uh, you see there's uh, when I, when you go with the mouse around uh, over that hover over the um, the text which is underlined in red then all we have to do to click on this um, um, to this bulb and then you take create a new method method blah 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 generate uh, generating it's written here in German so when you click on that on the first point it uh, the underline will go away and then you say go to definition and now you have this um, event oh, I I have there a <coughs> class system show my show me a message okay or right tapped okay right tapped and this one we don't need it now when we start it Now when I click on one of those new elements with the right mouse button then we get then I get a message which is called something okay uh, this works with this in the same uh, and once again for the ex uh, for explanation here I create the element and then uh, I add a handler a new handler at runtime and this uh, this item is added to the list in this case this case you may also do the same with a button or something else or as you see here i <coughs> did the same with tapped and point released and all that stuff i said okay here if you have right tapped that's the same what we had there a pointer entered pointer is uh, when when it's um, when a mouse or a, a stylus or something else uh, enters the the element or hovers ab uh, ab above it then it, this will happen and I'll take this again now when I take the a button uh, for example this is more a simple example if you have a button my new button my button equals new button and then you say um, and then you say my new button at runtime this is brand new when the uh, when the compiler goes in there my new button has point and then for example right tap or the clicked for ex here we have the click event now this one and then plus equals a new click event uh, click handler this is a click handle handler back click handler item click item click event handler new tab click event click mode so sorry in this case I have to look up also on uh, on my on the website and say um, button click handler C sharp then you will see there's a here we have on click now 
we have to add here a new rooted event handler. In this case, so what we do here now, we say okay, the new rooted event handler, and we say okay, my new my button click click. And as we see now again, there's a it's red underlined, and now I say okay, make me a new button click event. And when I go there, then I have this new button clicked event. Unfortunately, at the moment I didn't add it to uh, to this uh, site to the page. But it, this will work the same, that as soon as you know what the event behind there is, you may add it by plus equals new event handler. I hope I could show you and help you a little bit uh, to program in Windows Universal Apps or in WPF how to make new events or attach events to new controls at runtime.